Hey everybody, this is Mr. Storm, and this is part four of Assassin's Creed. I uh, I was gonna run, I was gonna go all the way to Accra, uh, and then start the recording, uh, but then I realized that this gate, th this uh, uh, courtyard, is actually open now, and so we're able to come back here and and kind of see what I was talking about. So, um, you know, like I was talking about in episode one with the recruitment techniques. Uh, the Hassas Yunes would kidnap young boys. They would bring them to a lush garden. Uh, well, they, they would get them super high first. And then when the boys passed out, they would bring them to a lush garden with a bunch of attractive topless women and, uh, and, and food and honey and drinks. And they would think they were dead. And so it would erase their fear of death. And they would be mo much more likely to... Uh, commit dangerous acts in battle right and so that was the legend that was the legend of the Hasashiuns and where the idea of assassins come from now obviously there's always been people uh, throughout history who are willing to kill each other uh, and especially as you know kill high-ranking political targets um, but the the word assassination and and assassin comes from this idea of hashashiuns from you from the uh, the um, medieval era in um, in uh, the Middle East. All right, cool. Let's uh, let's move it on to Accra. All right, we're getting close to Accra now. Um, this is the third and final city in the game we have not visited yet. You'll see how different it is from the other two in terms of architecture and you know color palette and pretty much everything else. And the reason why... You have been exposed. Killing some of your pursuers will make it easier to escape. That's true. That's true. Um... The reason why it's so different is because this city, among the three, is the one that has the most, uh, uh, oof. So run over one dude with your horse and they all come at you. Okay. So, okay. We'll talk about this one. We're a bit more safe. Let me get in here first. I'm already being chased, so I'm just going to run through the guards here. Uh, or I'm going to try. Apparently not. Okay. I really didn't want to get into a big battle right away. Alright. That's fine. That is not what I wanted to have happen, but that's okay. Let's go ahead and synchronize this viewpoint. They're going to start throwing rocks. Yep. All right, I'm going to go hide. That's not where I wanted to go. Thank you for throwing me off. <sighs> Alright. Let's kill some of these people. Stop. Okay, so hopefully, as you can tell, now that I'm not being uh, chased, hopefully you can tell that this, hello, looks like I'm stuck. Thank you. This city is a bit different. First of all, it has more of a blue tint. Um, there's a blue color overlay. Um, but the architecture itself 
We don't have a lot of those uh, spires that we saw in Damascus and even some in Jerusalem. This is mostly European-inspired architecture. Now, it doesn't make sense for there to be European influences uh, at, in this part of the world at this time, right? The reason why this makes sense from a game design perspective is because this city, as you can probably tell, um, is incredibly populated by the Templars, right? Um, and the the historical reason for that is... Oh, there's an interrogation over here. Let me get this knocked out. The historical reason for that is in 1191, the Crusaders actually invaded Accra and took it over, um, which uh, allowed, allowed them to have access to the harbor here uh, and was a huge strategic advantage during the Third Crusade. All right, let's lock onto this dude. You hear about a thing? The archer who guards the eastern wing. Oh, bastard's brother caught an arrow in the throat. Uh-oh. Doubt he'll last the night. How can he continue to work knowing what's to come? He visits his brother often, so I cover for him when I can. You aren't there now? No. My family business on my own to attend to. Sounds like and a loophole I can exploit. Learn of his desertion. He won't. Long as you stay silent. Don't worry. Your secret's safe with me. My dog wants to come in. Let me let him in real quick. Come on in. <laughs> okay. He's going to curl up around my feet and keep him warm while I'm playing video games. Because he's a good boy. All right. Let's get to the Assassin's Bureau in town. Uh, kind of let them know that I'm here and get my contract for this for this city. Um, and you can also notice that uh, you know there's some Middle Eastern uh, architecture, but there's also a lot of destroyed areas. Ooh, and then look, there's a Templar sigil. Uh, carved into the side of the wall there. So this is very, very much a Templar city. And this is meant to be like the difficult, the hard city in the game. But there's rubble and stuff because at this point in the game, the uh, the Europeans have had just recaptured Accra uh, during the war, during the Crusade. And so it's supposed to be kind of like, it's supposed to represent a, a city that just went through a... Uh, a, a terrible fight. Alright. Let's see. Yep. Ooh, and even some of these spires um, are uh, destroyed and stuff. Because of course it makes sense. If a European invader uh, fighting a holy war takes over a Middle Eastern city, one of the first things they're probably going to do is tear down uh, representations of that Middle Eastern culture in that city, right? Islamic culture within that city. So these are all bombed. Plus, they're just kind of big, tall spires that are just ripe for a good old bombing. I say bomb, but cannon fire. You guys know what I mean. Although, this is 1100s. Cannon fire probably wasn't around. Yeah, because gunpowder being used in cannon. Yeah, that's probably not... It's not cannon shot. This would most likely be things like trebuchets and catapults. Uh, things like that. Okay. What is this? Informer Archer Stealth Assassination Challenge? What is that? Let's figure that out. I don't even remember what this is. Let's do it. You might as well. Huh? Okay. All the the citizens in this city just they they act like they've never seen a dude climbing up the side of a wall before. Okay, where is my assassination challenge? Oh, right there. Hello. It's good you come, brother. I could use that blade of yours. Too many archers about. This makes it difficult for me to work. Kill them. All of them. 
and I might be able to assist you in your campaign against the Mad Doctor. Keep in oh, mind, however, you the must Mad do Doctor. Scene. Should you be discovered, they'll sound the alarm and you'll be forced to try again. Okay, so this is the Night Hospitalier. Okay. Um, okay, so um, the Night Hospitalier, they were a group of uh, knights that were dedicated... Oh, hello. That were dedicated to helping the victims of the Second Crusade. Uh, actually, the First Crusade, I believe. And... Um, they have been they were active in the Middle East for a long time and uh, at this point in the game they've been they've been established or at this point in history they had been in these cities for a long time um, but according to the lore of Assassin's Creed the Knights Hospitalier were um, they were uh, um, allies to the Knights Templar so they're, they're a group of doctors, of honor-bound Christian doctors helping Muslims during the crusade who had been injured and stuff. And then uh, um, this game kind of turns them into bad guys. Well done, Antaio. With those archers dead, I can be about my business. Take this. It's some sort of work order for repairs to Garnier's hospital. Cool. Perhaps it'll be of use to you. Okay, so this is Garnier... Mm. Okay. If I remember correctly, he is actually a Knights Hospitalier from history. Um, I can't remember his story specifically. But in the game, his story is pretty crazy. Pretty, pretty nuts. And you'll see a lot of examples of Assassin's Creed games turning the real people or the real organizations uh, into kind of like bad guys. <laughs> ah, Altai. Hello. A little bird told me you'd be paying a visit. Birds can talk. Of de la the Grand Master of the Knights Hospitalier. Gagné de la Prusse. Yeah, he was real. When and how to strike. Share your knowledge with me then. He lives and works within the Order's hospital, northwest of here. Rumors speak of atrocities committed within its walls. It seems the good doctor enjoys experimenting on innocent citizens. Most of them kidnapped and brought here from Jerusalem. Not great. Clever. By stealing his subjects from another city, he avoids arousing too much suspicion here. But back to the matter at hand. What is your plan? Gagne keeps mainly to his quarters inside the hospital, though he leaves occasionally to inspect his patients. It's when he makes his rounds that I will strike. It's clear you've given this some thought. I give you leave to go. Okay. Thank you for my feather. Remove this stain from Akka, Altai. Perhaps it will help cleanse your realm. Rest here until you're ready to begin your mission. I wonder Akka how effective or how absorbent flat or uh, feathers are when it comes to human blood. You know what I mean? Like he takes a feather and he swipes it through the wound and he picks up some blood as proof of the kill. I don't know if feathers will really, like, if blood will really stick to feathers. This sounds like an experiment someone used to perform. Han, why are you playing with feathers and blood? I'm doing an experiment. Alright. Let's go murder a mad doctor. You know, there are a couple of examples in, now that I think about it, in the Assassin's Creed games of doctors experimenting on their people. I'm remembering a one of my favorite missions in all Assassin's Creed, uh, Assassin's Creed Unity, when you have to go into the, uh, the asylum and you have to assassinate a doctor there. That is fun. That's a really fun mission. This mission kind of feels like uh, you know, a younger brother version of that mission. You know, and as I play through this game again, I'm realizing all the gameplay changes they've made uh, since this game came out. And, oh, it wasn't a part of the wall. It was actually the hospital. Okay. All right, let's find a way in without disturbing the guards. 
Anyway, I, I'm, I'm figuring out all the gameplay changes they've made, which greatly increase the quality of life while playing these games. Um, this game is a bit... Ah, there we go. Knew there was a window over here somewhere. This game is a... Oh, come on. <laughs> Someone tell me why he's doing that. Art, really? Um, that's weird. I should be able to stick. Do I have to? Let's try going up this way. That's weird. I should be able to go right to that window and grab that ledge. Anyway, this game is a bit repetitive. And then, you know, in Assassin's Creed 2, one of the best Assassin's Creed games you made. No oh. Wow. He, uh... Is it worth it to try to drop into the window? Nope, definitely shouldn't have done that. Okay, we'll just go back up top and find a way in there. Um, yeah, this game is a bit repetitive, and uh, Assassin's Creed 2 fixes that problem uh, by varying the mission style, by focusing more on a, uh, a, a, a interesting story, um, by introducing a main character who is much more interesting to play as. Uh, Ezio is very, very, very interesting to play as, as opposed to Altair. So. No, help! Help me! Help me! Please! You must help me! Uh-oh. Oh, in the back of the head. You did him dirty. Blood on the apron. It's not a good sign. Everything will be all. No. No. Don't touch me. Not again. Yeah, I kind of agree. Don't touch me, bro. Else I cannot help you. Help me? Like you helped the others. You took their souls. I saw. I saw. But not mine. No. You'll not have mine. Sliggity slap. Do you think this gives me pleasure? Kinda. And maybe low. Every kind word matched by the back of his hand. All lies and deception. He won't be content until all bow before him. You should not have done that. Return him to his squatters. I'll be along once I've tended to the You can't keep me here. I'll escape again. No, you won't. Break his legs. Oh, God. No. No, I'm not zooming in. Sorry. I I know what happens. Oh, God. The sounds are terrible. I, believe me, I spared you. That is not something you want to see up close. Ugh. Okay, so he's going into his hidey hole. Let's see. How should we get to him? Okay. Yeah, let's go up this ladder here. Oh, I hear him. Get away from me! One day we'll look back at this and 
not mean to push that button. Oh, there he is. Oh, see, I should have just waited a moment. That's okay. I can assassinate him. Oh. You don't see me. Stop looking at me. So creepy. Got him. Let go your burden. Ah, alas, now, yes, the endless dream calls to me, but before I close my eyes, I must know what will become of my children. You mean the people made to suffer your cruel experiments? They'll be free now to return to their homes. Homes? What homes? The sewers? The portals? The prisons that we dragged them from? You took these people against their will. Yes, what little will there was for them to have. Are you really so naive? Do you appease a kind child simply because he wins? But I want to play with fire, father. What would you say? Answer He's got to learn somehow. Ah, then you'd answer for his burn. These are not children, but men and women full grown. In body, perhaps, but not in mind. Which is the very damage I sought to repair. I admit, without the piece of Eden, which you stole from us, my progress was slowed. But there's mixtures and extracts. My guards are proof of this. They were madmen before I found and freed them from the prisons of their own minds. <sighs> and with my death, madmen they will be again. You truly believe you were helping them? It's not what I believe, it's what I know. So, if I'm not mistaken, I think that's the first time they've referenced, they've used the words, Peace of Eden, in the series. Oh, so that window was for an escape. There we go. Oh, hello. Um, hello. My, it wasn't pulling my sword out for some reason. Okay, that was nerve-wracking. weird my sword wouldn't I, I wasn't able to pull my sword out and fight that guy I'm trying to stay roughly off of the street oh they got me I do love that when they get scared and run away. Because it's one of those things in a game, it's one of those small details when you uh, you see it happen in a game and you're like, yeah, why don't most games do that? Why don't more games do that? You wouldn't have a whole gang of dudes fighting you and then you murder 19 of them and then the 20th one is still like, yeah, I'm going to stab you. They would run away. All right. What news, I'll tell you. 
Gagne is dead. Then you should return to Masayaf with news of your victory. I should. There is something else. Speak it then, or would you have me read your mind? What do you think he wanted from these people? That he would keep them and experiment on them as he did? Yours is not to ask, but act, Altair. It doesn't matter what he did or why. Only that he's dead. But Gagne seemed to believe he was helping these people. Is that what you saw? No. What I saw was not a place of healing, but of pain. Then why are we having this conversation? I... I don't know. Forget I spoke of it. I already have. Fast forward in memory to a more recent one. Alrighty. What's the problem now? I'm getting weird temperature readings. I think the Animus is overheating. Christ, it's always something. How long? Too soon to tell. That dude needs to go to a spa These or something. These delays are unacceptable, Mr. Stillman. He needs a hug. I want progress reports every hour. It's going to be a while, Desmond. Why don't you go lie down or something? Sounds good. Rest. Now, um... If you play this game and you're being a bit more leisurely about it, at, at about this point in the modern day is when you can start like snooping on people's computers and having more conversations and figuring out more about what's going on. Um, but, you know, I'm not going to do all that hell? stuff. Oh, hello. Someone's been in here. Who's snooping through my drawers? Is that are those literally just towels? It's just a closet full of towels. Oh, hello. Why is my camera doing that? Looks like some kind of access code. Okay. It's an access code. So I can use it to get out. And then there's, like, information on the laptop and stuff like that that I can... I can get into, but I'm not going to worry about that now. I'm going to go to sleep and let's go assassinate our next target. Even more of those weird graffiti things. Rise and shine. We've got quite a day ahead of us. You're in a good mood this morning. Yeah. Miss Stillman has made some modifications to the Animus. You should be able to remain inside even longer now. Cool. And help you with your treasure hunt. This is serious business, Mr. Miles. I don't think you fully appreciate the work that Abstergo does. Maybe because I don't actually know what you people do. We change the world. Every day, in a hundred different ways. I mean, Did every you know company that says every that. Every single breakthrough of the past millennia, be it medical, mechanical, or philosophical, has come from Abstergo or its predecessors. That's a bold claim, Doc. Yeah, pretty bold. You might be exaggerating a bit. Not in the slightest. Oh, we certainly don't take the credit. That would arouse far too much suspicion. We choose our beneficiaries with great care. Why? Isn't it obvious? It means we're in control. But how? What makes you guys so special, so smart, that you happen to invent all these things while us mere mortals stumble around like idiots? To be fair, we don't invent them. We find them. Find them? They're gifts, Mr. Miles. From those who came before. Hmm. Those who came before. We'll have to continue this discussion later. Time's wasting. Yeah, don't drop something like that on us and then just stop. <laughs> what do you mean, those who came before? All right, why can't I move? There we go. So, uh... Yeah, hi. So again... The, the entire story of Assassin's Creed and all the stuff that's going on behind the scenes is really a long story and um, tons of detail. Uh, but when he refers to those who came before, he's really talking about a precursor race. Stop playing games, Mr. Miles, and lie down. I mean, this is really, this is a game. You know, anyway, I'm going to lie down. We'll learn a lot more about that as we go.
Okay, let's squeeze one more assassination in, in the next 25 minutes. We can do it. I believe in us. Preparation is crucial to your success. Clear the area of archers and guards before confronting your assassination. Or just run in blindly and start hacking at people like I do. You've done well. Thank you. Three of the nine lay dead. Yep. And for this you have my thanks. Third of the way down. Do not think to rest upon your laurels. Your work has just begun. I am yours to command, Master. King Richard, emboldened by his victory at Arca, prepares to move south towards Jerusalem. King Richard the Lionheart. King Richard the First the Lionheart. So he gathers his men before the broken citadel of Arsuf. Mm -hmm. Would you have me kill them both then? End their war before it begins in earnest? No. To do so would scatter their forces and subject the realm to the bloodlust of 10,000 aimless warriors. It would be many days before they meet, and while they march, they do not fight. You must concern yourself with a more immediate threat. The men who pretend to govern in their absence. Give me names and I'll give you blood. So I will. Abu Nukud, the wealthiest man in Damas. Majduddin, regent of Jerusalem. William of Montferrat, the <coughs> age lord of Akka. What are their crimes? Greed, arrogance, the slaughter of innocents. <laughs> Walk amongst the people of this. One of those seems to be a bit more extreme than the others. Do not doubt that these men are obstacles to the peace we seek. Then they will die. They will Another die. Another of your items is restored. Thank Take you. It. See that it is put to good use. Return to me as each man falls, that we might better understand their intentions. What do I get now? And Altair. Yeah, oh yeah. Take care. Your recent work has likely attracted the attention of the city guard. Probably. Be more suspicious than they've been in the past. I mean, <laughs> they weren't already super suspicious, but okay. I got some gloves. Oh, I got the catch ledge. Oh, and I can grab break. Cool. Alrighty, so at this point I should be able to... Can I not? Do I really have to? Oh no. I can't fast travel? Alright. Altair, it seems my students do not fully understand what it is to wield a blade. Perhaps you could show them what you know. I gotta teach your dudes everything? <laughs> Perfect. You must be busy. I understand. Okay. So I know how to grab break now, which is gonna be very helpful. Exit tutorial. Yes. You must be busy. I understand. All right, let's get out of here. He better not call you. Can I fast travel now? Ooh, yes. I knew there was fast travel. Okay, let's go to Damascus. Let's go to the bureau. Preparation is crucial to your success. Clear the area of archers and guards before confronting your assassination target. You are Altair, my friend. Welcome, welcome. Whose life do you come to collect today? His name is Abu Naku. What can you tell Abu me about Abu Naku. Merchant King of Damas, richest man in the city. Quite exciting, quite dangerous. I envy you, Altair. Well, not the bit where you were beaten and stripped of your rank, but I envy everything else. Oh, except for the terrible things the other assassins say about you. But yes, aside from the failure and the hatred, yes, assassins are high school girls, things, man. They're so gossipy. I do not care what the others think or say. I'm here to do a job. So I ask again, 
What can you tell me about the Merchant King? Only that he must be a very bad man if Al Mualim has sent you to seek him. He keeps to his own kind, wrapped in the finery of the city's noble district. A busy man, always up to something. I'm sure if you spend some time amongst his type, you'll learn all you need to know about him. And where would you have me begin my search? If I were you, I'd start with the Omayyad Mosque and Souk Saruja, both of which are west of here. Further to the northwest is Salahadin Citadel. It's a popular meeting spot and has proved a reliable source of loose tongues in the past. Yes, these three places should serve your needs. My thanks for your guidance, Rafi. I'll return when I've gathered the necessary information. So Salahadin is the uh, leader of Syria, and he's the one fighting the war against uh, King Richard I, the Lionheart, uh, who is the, the leader of the Crusaders. All right, let's see. I might have to start... Well, you said east of here. I might have to clear some more checkpoints before I can spot what's going on. Anyway, King Richard the Lionheart, uh, he is the leader of the uh, European Crusaders, and they've taken over Accra. Oh, apparently I can't go there. So that's another game design uh, thing that's really interesting with the Assassin's Creed games is uh, if there's an area they want to bar you from, they just throw up a <laughs> they just throw up a blue wall or a you know pixelated wall or something like that and say, hey, you, you can't go there. Uh, and the explanation is the animus doesn't want you to go there because your ancestor never went there during this time in their memories, which is, again, a genius gameplay explanation. Uh, Assassin's Creed is ripe for tons of... Uh, explanations for things that don't really make sense in other video games like glitches they're just glitches in the animus right so anyway good stuff okay let's see did we find any nothing really okay Did he say west of here? Yeah, probably. Let's let's actually start going west of here. I don't want to spend all day climbing towers, and but I need to find this. Ooh. Gotta let my dog out. He got bored of hanging out with me. All right. You know what? Here's what we're going to do. I'm going to get to this tower, climb it, and then I will call it a day for this video. And then in the next video, we will actually assassinate uh, this merchant. By the way, um, in Damascus, the first time we were here, we assassinated a black market arms dealer who is selling arms to the Crusaders. And now we are assassinating the richest man in Damascus. Uh, there's kind of a pattern going on here in Damascus. And because this, um, because Damascus is ruled over by uh, Salah Hadin, and I cannot get up there, that is embarrassing. So because Damascus is securely ruled by Salah Hadin and there's no real danger of um, the Crusaders making their way to Damascus and taking over, um, you, can't, you don't really have a lot of Templars working in Damascus, right? So this is kind of like a tutorial city. Um, but you've got to find ways to... You've got to find uh, reasons to assassinate targets within the city. So making them parts of the community who have, uh, you know, betrayed Salah and uh, and are working for the enemy. That's a, a really smart way to um, give us actual targets to fight. All right, let's sync this checkpoint and see if I'm in the right area, and then we can cut this video. God, it's such a beautiful looking city. Okay. 
So it looks like I've got a few more to clear out. I'm going to cut this video here. I'm going to clear out some more of these and then I'll come back when it's time to assassinate our target. All right. See you guys later.